and then provide the necessary knowledge and the skills, then many people uh, do perform. And this whole business about the KPI, Deepamala, I think is extremely important. Set in the right performance indicators. Key performance indicators. Yeah, set in the right key performance indicators and measures are very important. So can you illustrate with an example because when you say key performance indicators, actually that itself can be a challenge for the organizations to define their key performance indicators. Yeah. But right now, before just uh, getting yeah. back to that uh, yeah. question, let's take a small break okay. and we'll be back with you soon. Stay with us. The national event to recognize the efforts and performance of sales personnel in Sri Lanka, NASCO 2010. National Sales Congress being organized by Sri Lanka Institute of Marketing for the 11th consecutive year at 6.30 p.m. on Friday, 26th March 2010 at Main Ballroom Hotel Galadari. Media sponsor, ITN and Prime TV. Welcome back. You're watching Roundtable and we are speaking to Dr. Udita Lianage of the Postgraduate Institute of Management. So in the second half, we went through the management principles of you get what you reward and also get what you measure. And on that context, we were asking about how do you actually get what you measure and measuring comes with the key performance indicator. And doctor, you tried to illustrate that with an example. Uh, the example that comes to mind is from the uh, military. Uh, because uh, you know, strategy was uh, first conceived and adopted in the military, and we management guys, you know, picked up uh, strategy. I don't know, hundreds of years later. So I attempted to uh, study the uh, success story of the uh, Sri Lanka military, the army in particular, and uh, looked at some of the strategies that helped us to, uh, you know, finish this war. And uh, one of the key success factors was the ability of the army, the military, to fix uh, strategic KPIs, key performance indicators. KPIs that went to the very heart of the strategy. Right? So when you, when you fix key performance indicators, they must go to the very heart, to the very center of your whole uh, strategic approach. Now for a good 20, 25 years, the army had one KPI at the end of a um, military, uh, what do you call it, a campaign or military um, program of action, yes, yeah. operation, yeah, operation. Uh, how, do, how do you measure success of a particular operation? They had one central KPI and that was how many kilometers have we captured, right? It's about land, how many kilometers have we captured? Now perhaps this KPI made sense because the larger purpose, the larger role in the strategy of the army was to weaken the LTT, right? So that they may come to the negotiating table, right? So if your larger strategy is to weaken the enemy, uh, LTT in this case, then you know capturing land uh, perhaps made sense. But this time the army, the whole government had a very different objective. It was not about weakening the LTT but about eliminating the LTT. Now, given that larger overarching strategy, they had a very different KPI this time around. It was not about land, but it was about kill. How many LTT carders have we got? Right? And that is the one question that was posed at the end of each operation. Right? And the point I'm trying to highlight is that in, in fixing KPIs, there's no point having dozens of key performance indicators. And sometimes many organizations do this. You know, they have their monthly reviews and they have dozens of KPIs and they you know, agonize over the you know, performance of, of the various people, individuals, vis-a-vis -vis the, the KPIs, variety of KPIs. But I think the real challenge is to isolate maybe one, two, perhaps three critical KPIs. And you know that if you get those KPIs, if you achieve those KPIs, you're doing well, right? I've, I've heard the story about uh, a super um, excellent, brilliant uh, CEO, right, who always had a clean table and he was managing a large organization and with respect to a particular division he knew this is the one KPI I need to check 
right? If this particular department is okay with respect to this particular KPI, I don't have to worry too much about the rest, right? So can you find these levers, these critical KPIs, and if you can keep, if you keep measuring these KPIs and ensure that those KPIs are met, then you've got an organization that's thriving. So you also look at to, to look at the context, then define the objective, and accordingly set the KPI. Exactly, the, the, the connection, the nexus between your large objective and the KPI. There's no point, I mean, if you take the financial measures, for example, you take profit and loss account, the balance sheets, you, know, you have those, all these number of KPIs. But most of those KPIs are actually consequences or effects, and you can't actually control consequences. So you've got to look at drivers, the key things that will result in things. You know? So if you identify your KPIs in terms of key drivers, like the you know, example that I cited, and keep you know, focusing on those driver KPIs, not the outcomes, not the consequences. Right then you got a good measuring system. So again, you need to also distinguish a driver from a consequence exactly. because you outcome, know exactly exactly where you are heading. Yeah. So Dr. Now, we spoke about these management principles of you. See what you get, you get what you believe, you get what you reward, you get what you measure, and so on and so get forth. What you, yeah, reward yeah. As well. Get yes. what yeah. you reward, get what you measure, yes. and yes. also, uh, so bec now with all that, you also define the very important distinction between capability and ability and also how important is uh, d defining KPIs. So in that context, just to end our discussion, because we have about one minute left, what can you tell to the management in order to run organizations effectively to take Sri Lanka from point A to point B? Oh, it's very difficult to answer that question in one minute, <laughs> but, but what, I, what I could say is that uh, figure out that one thing that you want to achieve for the organization. You know, there can be a variety, dozens of objectives, but get to the very purpose, you know, why does the organization exist? What is the reason for the existence of the organization? What is that larger overarching purpose for which the organization exists, right? Be absolutely clear about that. And once that is clear, get everyone in the organization to embrace that purpose, right? Align with that purpose. And then you have purposeful people achieving the larger purpose of the organization. So basically vision, purpose, key drivers, key performance indicators and the management principles we discussed I think is the answer for efficient management and also increasing the efficiency and the productivity of the organization and also thereby increasing the productivity of the workforce. So doctor thank you very much for an interesting presentation with case studies, research and examples. So thanks for being with us. And uh, thank you for watching us and thank you for joining us tonight on Prime TV at Roundtable. Do join us tomorrow at the same time. Have a good night. Thank you.